Well, hey there, everybody. Garrett here again with Old Breed Outdoors. We got another episode of our Field to Table series here today. And today I am wrapping up my 2020 deer season processing. So obviously it's 2021. So I had a bit of an issue with uh, with some grinder stuff, and I uh, needed a new grinder. And now I'm finally wrapping things up. It's been a bit of a process. I had a little over 100 pounds of uh, of meat to to grind and between the actual venison and then the uh, the fat that I'm mixing in, you know, processing it into various different things. So take take a look at the other videos in this in this series that we have up so far if you haven't checked them out. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of work, and uh, you know the end result is always pretty rewarding. So for today we're going to be doing hot dogs. Um, I have never done this before, so this is going to be a learning experience for me. And uh, you know it's pretty similar to just doing snack sticks or uh, you know, sausage really. I mean, the, the grinding and all that other stuff is the same. It's just going to be the process of actually getting into the casings, which is ex the same type of casing, same similar style of casing that I use for the snack stick. So if you watch that video, you'll be familiar with what I'm talking about. So at any rate, I'm going to get here cutting up and start grinding away. Okay, that was quick. I've got uh, all the venison cut up. It was all, still partially frozen, which I like just because it's easier to work with and seems to go through the grinder way better um, by doing that. So I've got that cubed up and I've got my, my fat. If you've been following along, you'll know that I've been using a lot of beef fat um, with everything I've been doing and it, with a lot of good success. I've been pretty pleased from bratwurst to um, Polish sausage and my hamburgers and so on and so forth. So for this hot dog, I'm gonna do the same thing. I get it from a local, local butcher here. Um, which is pretty nice because I can get locally sourced and uh, sustainably uh, raised you know, um, beef fat. And uh, it's 99 cents a pound, so that helps out with the cost. So it's way cheaper than getting the, the pork fat. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, get this ground up. I've got my coarse plate in right now. I'm going to run the beef through there and then I'll run the fat through there. I'll mix it up and then uh, I'll run back through uh, again in the, uh, the coarse plate, which will um, get that real nice consistency. So I got the uh, coarse grind done. I got her, the meat and the uh, fat in the mixer here. And I'm just gonna get it all mixed up nice and even. This is really nice, gets nice good consistency. I've been using it for all of my stuff this year. This is the first time I've ever used one. And and this Weston uh, mixer is definitely very uh, useful. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and run it through the, cor the fine grind. Get this all nice and ready to go for the seasoning. All right, the fine grind is done. We're going to go ahead and get this in the, the meat mixer so we can get our seasoning done. This is a 20 pound meat mixer. Well, it can handle 20 pounds of whatever you put in here. So that makes it pretty convenient. All right, so that's there. And then we've got our seasoning. So there's no cure for this. So this will actually get stuffed in the casings and then it'll go straight into the freezer. There's no cooking, you know, with the sausages and the brats like, like there is. So this is just the seasoning mix. Mix that in the meat mixer and then it says five ounces of ice water so there we go got our ice water in the mix let's go ahead and mix this all up all right we're all set ready to go on the uh, stuffing process here so i've got the uh, casings out and these are just like i i had mentioned you know same as kind of like we did with the snack sticks you got these uh um casings are on this like a tube you know kind of set up here and they're not on a tube but it kind of looks like a nice little tube here and i've got the you know, that specific attachment for the, the western grinder here it's a little longer has there's a little auger bit that goes inside this tube here and then you've got this metal piece here that's actually what these slide in on which makes it super handy it's already pre-tied on the end here and we'll just start stuffing All right, folks, 
Well, I got that project done with these hot dogs. Uh, like I said in the beginning, first time I've ever done uh, hot dogs before, and I mean, pretty simple grinding the meat and um, you know putting the seasoning and all that. But uh, running the uh, stuffer there with these, as you saw, was a it was a little bit of rodeo um, by myself. Um, fortunately, my trusty assistant, beautiful as always, my wife. Um, it came down to the last second to help me on the, uh, the last little bit, but definitely not a, you know an easy one one person job. So I think uh, Weston probably needs to send me uh, a 15 pound sausage stuffer. That'd be pretty cool. Not that, like Weston's watching this or anything, but thanks as always, guys. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this field to se table series that we've started. Uh, this deer season's getting ready to kick off. Chris and I are leaving for Oregon here shortly for Archery Elk, so hopefully there'll be a whole lot more of these Field of Table series uh, episodes coming your way here in the, in the fall and then into the winter. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We sincerely appreciate your support and uh, head over to our website and check out our gear over there. We got hats, stickers, t-shirts, all that kind of stuff, but uh, keep following along. See you on the next one.